remains of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault. But you can. That'll get their attention. Lucky me. Sorry that I cut it off just as they were saying something. Not what we're looking for, but worth getting a record. Watch your fingers. There might be traps. I'm not detecting any. I have made that mistake before. Basically all they said was that they were hoping that the gravity elevator thing was going to be able to send them back up as well. That's it. We're so far down I can't even see the top of the well. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... Pathfinder, a conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. Now that's interesting. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, leads out of the room. Got anything? There's element zero threaded through all this tech. Imagine the engineering that would take. Look there, do you see that? Might be data, or bits of it. Wow, I really was just scratching the surface. Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. These data pattern things are incredible. If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. There are whole species who get by with less. Minor corruption detected. The pattern suggests significant data present, but it cannot be accessed. Shouldn't it... Another gravity well, and... that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down here. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. You can't be too risky for her with everything turned off, right? I feel like that frequency... Gravity well sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our sorry friend. And for when we try to explain all this. I feel like that frequency line could have been a joke for Metal Gear Solid. My frequency is on 145.8. I'm like, huh, I feel like I've heard that before. It's like, don't worry, Snake, I'll help you. My frequency is 145.8. What? What? I love Metal Gear Solid. Well, look at this. No way through. No interface points. Sam, note it down for later. Com check. It's, well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. Locked. She seems good at taking care of herself. Yeah, if you have to do so for quite a long time, you dug this place get pretty decent at it. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. An unknown alloy and other materials. The composition resembles Omnigel. Maybe that's the fluid in the conduit. Watch yourselves, it burns. I keep thinking someone's watching us. Let's stay focused. 
We can worry after we find the system locked down. So whatever that liquid is, they need a whole aqueduct of it. Make that two aqueducts, at least. I just crossed one. Planning to, Cora. Use the pillars for cover. Hostiles down. My God. All this for an atmosphere processor? What is this place? Another aqueduct. This liquid is everywhere. If it really is like Omnigel, that fluid could be what's keeping this place going. What are those? We've got company. More oh. remnant. Watch the edges. Got it. Some things down here work, and some don't. Uh -huh. Keep looking up. Hostiles down. Well, that is one thing that is frustrating about the scheme is the amount of times where they can either cut themselves off or just get cut off by accident. Phoebe! Ryder! That relic box I found? Not a symbol of authority. The remnants still shoot at me. I'll try it with one of those data patterns we saw. Is that a good idea? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's one way to light a room. The atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. Let's not. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Look how high it is. Might be another gravity well. The well's sealed. Damn. Maybe we can use the conduit for emergency power, same as before. Better save the sorry. Take them out. <laughs> Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Oops. The conduit splits and goes through each of those devices. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the well to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try. So one of the things that's actually kind of frustrating when it comes to the controls in this is that G is the scanner. H takes me to the menu. And if you know your keyboard, you know that they are right next to each other. That's what happened there just now. I went to go press G, and I pushed H by accident. This device appears defensive in nature. Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Barely any dust. How old is this place? Unknown. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? Crap, the conduit sprang a leak. Right over the console. If you try interfacing, you'll burn your hands off. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. 
We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Ryder! Up here! What happened? I can't get any doors to work. The conduit's breached. Hey, wait! The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omni tool. Maybe they can patch up the conduit? And received. I'll give them a shot. The system's responding to those frequencies. Just a patch job, but it should hold. Nice work. If it's fixed, that console should work now. I feel the need to keep wanting to point out the differences between PB and Sarah. Looks like it worked. There's even a bridge. You're a pal, Ryder. Where are you going? We've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. First one gets the glory. We'll catch up. Let's see if we powered up a way out of here. Will you look at that? Nowhere to go right. down. Part of the issue of why I'm not is because they Looks keep like talking. I didn't want anyone getting through here easy. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. <sighs> Wait, plants? All the way down here? That's strange. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The planet's a wasteland, but maybe they're just hardy. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. Fine. It'll be fine, Cora. Hate this. Hate it. What? We found some loot. Absolutely fine. It's fine. Huh. Damn it. It's okay. It's fine. Stop saying fine. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> uh. Again, this uh, I'm gonna find opportunities to praise this game, and I can because I feel like it's sorely needed, considering the amount of negativity that has been heaped upon it by the community and people just never willing to give it another chance. One of the things I enjoy about this game is the banter. I really enjoy the banter of the characters throughout this game. It made a new path. I think that's the right way. We could reach it if we backtrack. Observers coming up at us! Company! Nice work, people. Gosh, that is so much fun. But the banter there that you kind of heard there with the, you know, like, you know, the whole fine, and then she's like, stop saying fine. Nothing will. Now, where does that go? Oh, well. Too far, even for jump jets. Come to Andromeda, walk on air.
Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with... something. We must be close. As you can tell, this section's Where's kind of dialogue heavy. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. Well, you know what I'm reminded of is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. You know when you would go into the factories where they would make the machines? All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console. Thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good to Ryder. Go! And now we run. <laughs> wise to escape Ryder. <laughs> I know Sam! This is why at times people are like, shut up Sam! Too far to jump! Got another bridge? Keep running! So yeah, look at all that stuff it gets you. We're almost clear. Where are you? Hello? PB. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Go. Go, go, go. Ah, it's right on our heels. Get to the gravity well. Shit, it's sealed! Try to get something under it! Console is attempting surface reconnection. Come on! Bolt restart is now complete. That was... talk about a rush! What was that... field? I know a trap when I see one. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub before startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. 
Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Something happened. Because we restarted the system? If that light is us, then... All these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? This tech can create observers from nowhere, or ravage a whole planet. And that's just what we've seen. The bots, those plants back there, the atmosphere processors. I once did supply runs for a council team that was seeding some ice planet's atmosphere trying to melt the ice caps. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. It changes whole planets. Let's go slow. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. So, on one hand, I want to keep expanding on what I was saying about the differences between PB and Sarah, because I just feel like that's not the case. But on the other hand, I kind of want to just let PB showcase that for me, for those who are familiar, with, say, with Sarah, and maybe even with PB, and can probably see what I'm talking about here, especially if you are familiar with both characters and how they are in both games, that it just always feels like Sarah was a prankster who didn't really care about doing that much or helping, whereas PB actually is helpful and wants to take the initiative. She has commitment issues, yes, but... Even back in the vault, she was, like, doing things to actually help us out and even provide suggestions that actually helped with our progress. And at times, it just felt like that wasn't really the case. Sure, she provided people in Inquisition, Sarah did, but it just never really felt as if she was actually doing something helpful. And when something serious happened, she just didn't want to deal with it or didn't want to believe it was real. Or she just, as she said, I just want to go play. Whereas PB here is like, no, let's go, let's let's do this, let's find out more. Let's, you know, she she's wants to be active. She actually wants to learn things and discover things, and it's just an aspect of her that I find much more interesting and appealing than Sarah. You know, Sarah drew, like irritated me constantly, whereas PB barely ever did that. In fact, it was the opposite. I didn't. I enjoy PB's company and her banter. She's got some hilarious banter, especially depending on who you have with you in the Nomad, because there are times we're driving around the planet, you get to have banter with whoever the two are that you bring. And I often enjoy having PB in the Nomad just so she provides some hilarious banter with, uh, based on whoever is in the Nomad as well. So, Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. 
Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. So now we can just fast travel over here and go to that site. Is that Drac? Hang on, Drac! I read your dossier. Dossier, huh? Fancy. So, what's it say? That's classified. Uh huh. Don't start something you can't finish up. Ryder, about time you joined the party. Oh. I think I made them angry. Good. Huh. I made them angry. Good. Keep it up. Very Krogan. Save some for me, old man. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that fight was fun. You're telling me. <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. Shields are up! Of course he's gonna think we're green. He's 1300 years old. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? <laughs> and he just stops. Whatever. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. I'm choosing this outpost's direction for decades. Maybe centuries. That is the prime responsibility of a Pathfinder. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. So if I ask their opinions, Korra will say military, uh, figuring that if the cat attack, we need to be able to defend ourselves. Vetra says science because... Uh, that's, she, you know, she sees it as that's what we kind of came out here to do, you know, explore and, you know, utilize science and such. So if you're wondering what uh, ramifications does this choice have, um, one of the only differences I looked you know, was able to find when I was looking it up is that if you go with military, you'll actually get uh, some extra support during the big finale of this game. I think that's essentially it. There's also uh, little differences here and there, like based on this, it has uh, some kind of different outcome at the Nexus in terms of uh, their reaction to it and what they specifically say, referencing either one here. So, yeah, there is that. But honestly, that's really it. It's really not like one of those like big, you know, huge choices, honestly. <sighs> It's almost at the point where it's like it doesn't really matter where I could just kind of like toss a coin and whatever comes up, that's what I would choose because that's basically what this feels like. And unfortunately, there's a number of other choices in this game that feel that way, partly because unlike the other Mass Effect games, this is not one where I can be able to actually see ahead and look at whether or not a certain choice made here 
has certain kind of consequences later on. Like I know certain choices I make in the first Mass Effect game can have effects in the third game, for example. So, anyways. Uh... I'm going to go with the idea that he thinks about how the Ket have been a constant issue and problem. And uh, we need to be able to defend ourselves better, especially considering what we find out later about their forces and how dangerous they are. So uh, we're going to go with military. A military outpost. We defend our own against the Ket. Or anyone else. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's defensible. Arguing that choice will come later. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. So, I was looking at her hand because earlier I noticed her hand looked a little odd. What I realized is that the animation for her holding out the shaking of the hand was kind of bugged there early on. Again, this this game wasn't entirely patched or bug-free by the time they were done with it, unfortunately. It's still the case. What are you playing at? Seems like being my friend is suddenly valuable. Fair assumption. The reality, Ryder? You bought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed. But after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware. That's all. Watch out for everyone. But not you, right? You're genuine. I know what I came here to be. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Yeah, he can wait. Fairwinds Basin. <laughs> Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. We can work with that. Let's go talk to Bradley first. Another trigger right here. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. 
We're busy as anything thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Let's not drive people too hard. Rough enough getting this far. Nothing you see here came from cracking a whip. Everyone is just ready. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like site one and two. I combed the first two outpost attempts. Those people died trying. And they deserved better from the Nexus. That's where I point the finger. We'll remember. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. I haven't reached the end of that trail, but not everyone died outright. Right. They tell me there were staggered evacs. If any want to try again, they're welcome. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Hey, Nexus must be waiting, Pathfinder. Relax. There will be more for you on EOS after you get back. Any insights about the people running the show from the Nexus? I only work with Addison. She's by the book. And with all the shit that happened, that's to her credit. And the others? I only work with Addison. Anything you'd say if you weren't in their direct employ? If I wasn't in their direct employ, I'd give that rat's nest a wide berth. Outposts deal with Addison. She deals with the others. And I don't envy her. What's behind naming the outpost Prodromos? It means forerunner. Languages bore the shit out of me, but we voted fair. That ownership is key to the initiative. That's how you convince a bunch of civilians to jump galaxies. As long as we meet our obligations to the Nexus, what we build and how we organize, we get to figure it out. Tell me about yourself. August Bradley, retired from the Alliance. I keep the discipline, but not so much the doctrine. I joined the initiative because it's a frontier. Not a lot of those left. Not that you can reach on my pension anyway. Any family? A niece on Earth. We didn't talk after my sister passed. I've had similar happen to my family. Yes, well, we stay out of people's grief. My father, your sister. Sounds like we've both lost a lot. We stay out of people's grief, Pathfinder. What is that? Stay out of people's grief. You've said it before. Shit, that's right. You didn't have the block leader death talk. The thing is, you and your father, not unique, just recent. Every initiative species, except maybe Asari and Krogan, went into cryo with friends and family and woke up knowing they were all dead. Everything we build begins with that. The unsaid start to the initiative. So yeah, we stay out of people's grief. How do you keep it from just spilling out? I let it, and my people stay out of it when I do, and I stay out of theirs. What's that old saying? Children with dead parents think everything is possible and nothing is safe? That seems like it fits anyone in the initiative, or maybe everyone. Just looking for a status report. Informal, of course. Not much to report. We're making life up as we go. What can you say about the Podromos block? I didn't train with the soldiers you called for, but they're an easy lead. And once we open up land to stake claims, they'll be a solid base. Not quite gold rush, not quite land grants. Honored to lead them for as long as they need me. We'll talk another time. Oh, and Pathfinder, what I said about grief? Every pirate we brought to this cluster woke up with the same reality you did. Maybe think about that when shooting doesn't have to start. Hmm. I mean, if they are the ones who shoot first, not much I can do at that point. Hmm.
Interesting. There are some other people we can talk to, but honestly, let's just go ahead and get this other quest over here. Whoops! Whoopsie! So, Ryder doesn't swim. Apparently. Someone left a warning. Hmm. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. That's an incredibly bad idea. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Medbay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. We'll do that later. Let's just head back onto the Tempest for now. Ascent is go. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Helios threw us for a loop, meaning we're kind of new at this, all of us. So let's figure out what the rules are now and try to stick to them. Sounds good. If there's one thing I know I can do, it's make up rules. No one said make up rules. Can we please keep anarchy to a minimum? Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Yeah, it kind of goes that way for Ryder early on, but it'll get better. Like, early on, Ryder will kind of, like, start to sound a little inexperienced, naive, immature, but what I like is that towards the end, you can see that Ryder has, you know, really grows into more of a confident, actual leader. You know, regardless if it's Scott or Sarah, you know, you kind of kind of see that. Like, they, like, as they're doing more, accomplishing more, they're gaining more confidence, and, you know, especially when they're holding meetings and talking to people, so, anyways... All right, so um, we have some new people to talk to and probably some new conversations and such to be able to have here. Uh, and some more things have now opened up as well. As you can see, we also have to go back to the Nexus, not just to continue the main story with Tan, but also talk to uh, Addison about the um, 
cryo vault stuff. Plus, we're going to see more of a reaction to our choice about the outpost and all that. So we'll start uh, working on that when we return. Stay tuned.